Hey, Brent Portsy with topvelocity.net. We're gonna go over a video to help you understand how to avoid injury, throwing injury. And the keys to that is gonna be your ability to handle stress, so your capacity to handle volume, which is th throwing or, or amount of throws, or intensity, meaning how hard you are, are making the throw. So you think uh, velocity over here. We're using a simple X, Y graph, Y is volume, X is intensity. If your line, which basically this is your injury line, if this goes more up, then you can handle more intensity, less volume. If it goes more horizontal, you can handle more volume, less intensity. So it's pretty much that. And that's gonna be based on your training, uh, how you train. So basically stress management is, is what is your body used to? Is it used to more intensity, less volume, or is it used to more volume, less intensity? So that's strictly, strictly how you build that up. We call that stress management. You should use uh, products like armcare.com to do that they're probably they are the best in the industry on that so for example let's just go right down the middle say you've got a good capacity to handle both volume and intensity so pretty much anything on this side is injury right anything over here is going to be injury everything over here is i'm going to be recovering okay so for example say this is these are marks of 10 okay and say this is marks of velocity so this is marks of like you know, 60 and up, 70. So say I throw, you know, 30 throw, or let's go, yeah, 30 throws, and I throw them around an average of 80 miles an hour, then I would be just at that mark. So I'd be just at my capacity to handle that stress. So I'm walking the line at that point. And then you got to put this into what you're doing. If I'm throwing at max distance, well, max distance might be requiring a lot of intensity, and it might not even be uh, volume. If you look at the study or velocity, if you look at the studies, velocity wasn't really going up as distances went up, but stress was going up. We have on the amateur level, 120 feet was max stress for those throwers, um, and then it went up a little bit more as pitchers got more advanced. So you got to understand. It, it, it's probably not best to put it in as velocity, but your intensity, your effort is really the better way to understand it. That's why I use intensity. So you understand like if, if you start doing max distance long toss, your intensity might be way up here and say normally you were throwing at a lighter intensity and you're taking the same amount of throws, say 20 throws, and now you're doing 20 throws at max distance long toss. Now you're well into injury here. So this is something that when you chart this, you should ultimately chart this if you're really concerned about throwing injury. You gotta really do a good job here. This is where the problem is. You can use velocity, you could use distance, basically understanding what your body uh, is doing. How intense is it in that throw? And you've gotta come up with a measurement of that. And then you've gotta relate it to your throwing volume. Because like you said, say you threw 50, you know, 50 throws, and previously, and you did them at like 80 miles an hour. Well, you were in a good place to recover. But say you're used, you say, well, I'm just going to do those 50 throws again. But now I'm going to add in, you know, 20 max distant long toss throws. So now my intensity went incredibly up. So my averages go up. So maybe now I'm here. So now I did the same 50 throws, but at a higher intensity. Now I hit my level of capacity or I went over my level of capacity. Uh, to handle that stress and now i'm in injury so that's where people go wrong that's what people gotta understand that's why we are not big fans of extreme throwing like max distance throwing uh, heavy throwing whatever it is because it can throw us into these high risk zones very quickly and very easily with our throwing volume because a lot of people think it's just throwing volume if i just monitor my throwing volume i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be healthy that's not true uh, you'd probably be better off uh, measuring your intensity or, or, or basically monitoring your intensity as much as your throwing volume, ideally. So really understand how these relate together, where that line is, your capacity level to handle stress, and when these come together and it's pushing you into this danger zone, this injury zone, because that's what where people are getting confused and coaches are getting confused. Be careful with coaches that are doing this to you uh, without, and they don't, they're not even aware of what they're doing because we have a study that shows if you're throwing fatigue, you're 36 times more likely to have injury. So if a coach keeps pushing you here, then you're throwing fatigue and now your, your chances of injury are going up. So like you said, if, if you're like, I'm comfortable at 40 throws at 80 miles an hour, but my coach keeps making me do max distance long toss, 
So now I'm well into my injury zone. I'm not recovering. And this is based on one day. So this is a one day snapshot. So the next day you come in, if you're fatigued, now, you know, it'd be something where if I'm fatigued and like a lot of people like to do post-game throwing, I wouldn't want to do post-game throwing if I'm fatigued, something pushing in my capacity. Maybe something down here, you know, something very low risk. So as an act of recovery, I'd be fine with that. Maybe not at that high of a volume, maybe something down here. But the point is, is we got to be very careful because of this. We're 36 times more likely to have injury. So the closer we get to this line each day we throw, uh, the better chance we're going to fall into this problem. And I think, unfortunately, that's what people do. They don't understand the relationship of volume to intensity when it comes to the capacity to handle stress. And they wind up sitting in this region way too long, firing that off, causing their injury. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know.